Hello everybody, this is Emeth and welcome back to more Warland 3. Last time we got all the coins in the, the bank of the Wall River. Uh, we also got something that we got a like little we got a little um toy thing that uh, made some like a little doll that made um some uh, stuff for us in this place, uh, like places you can climb. Um, it's gonna be in this place and then in the tidal coast as well. Too bad you have we have to do this whole this whole thing again. Oh, that was so unnecessary. It's gonna take just as much time as the woody bug which is thrown out up here. Whatever. So I think it's in is it in there? I don't think it's in there. I think we have to go up. up. I believe we do. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Yeah, it's up here. I think. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So here would be the, yeah, the two last, actually, now that I think about it, the two last chests are in here, but you can only get one at the moment. I don't need you. So where is the, I think the key is down here, isn't it? No, wait a minute. Yeah, there is. Okay. So I want to be fattened. These things. I probably shouldn't have killed that one um, lemming. Whatever he is. He was probably the only useful to me. Maybe this guy? Just don't... No. That was not cool. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go back down the pipe and then I'm gonna revive the guy that I killed. Because he will be the most useful to me to get the key. I just I just look at the recording time. It said two minutes. And I was like, what? I was I was I was a little cute. No, that's not good. Actually, that's fine. Just don't get hit by that guy. All right. Okay. Two minutes. I've recorded. Two and a half minutes now. Which is right. It didn't seem right to me at first, but it is. So, um, the blue key and the blue chest will be in here. Um. Now, okay, this is not it. Now we have to find the the green chest, which I believe is up there. Um, yeah, I think there's another one in, up here, isn't it? Yeah, there's another one. Alright, that's fine. Okay, good. I didn't, I didn't want to climb back up. <laughs> Takes too long. But there we go. That's the first chest of the video. That is a, a map, maybe? A map or something, like a piece of paper at least. Yeah, it's a map. And the map will show me the way to another place. The East Crater, which we'll be going to... Last in this episode, I think. We're gonna do three more chests in this episode. Uh, we're gonna go to the Tidal Coast, which is all the way back over here. Um, and I think that would be the... Is this going to be the last... No, it's not. This is gonna be the, the third one. Yeah, the, the third one. But is this the uh, correct... Um, is they what I want it to be? No, it's not. I was just thinking about it. I was wondering if there were any other levels in the game where I needed uh, it to be night rather than day, or day rather than night. And <laughs> I was wondering why I was thinking that, but I was thinking that because we're going to the Tidal Coast. I guess subconsciously I remembered that um, this is where we want to be. So I believe what we can do is, if I can jump far enough, I want this guy out of the way. I believe if... Okay, that was wrong. I know, I, I, I know I've, um... Let's see. 
Oh, man! I thought I would work. But I guess the uh, invisibility frame isn't good enough, so I guess... There we go. Alright, so that's the next build you can do to make it a little faster, if you know it. Obviously, it took me a little bit because I was trying to find the right... Um, um, the right uh, place to do it. Um, also, you kind of need sound in this place to to realize where the birds are. Um, if you don't have sound, they will just come at you and kill you because you don't have sound. Because <laughs> you can't possibly know they're coming. Otherwise, I guess you could uh, react fast enough. It is... I guess it's technically possible, but... It's not something I would be able to do. So, I don't think I have the key yet. I'm pretty sure I don't have the key yet. Here's the... Well, here's another exploit that you can do, I think. But you need a... I don't think you can exploit that. Oh, you can, okay. That's, you, that's how you do it. But I don't have the key yet, so... I need to find the key. And if I remember correctly, it's actually not in this area. I need to find it outside. Um, that's annoying in itself. I should have remembered, honestly. But, yeah, what can you do? It's up there, isn't it? I need help. And I'll tell you what, this is not helpful. So, um, Game of Thrones was on the other day. Um, I'm assuming that most of you are watching it. Uh, how are you enjoying it so far? Uh, leave a comment uh, below and tell me how you're enjoying uh, Game of Thrones so far. I am... I'm really enjoying it. I think uh, I think the first episode was really good. Um, a lot of build up. I think um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, it's definitely a build up episode. Not much, not a whole lot of action, but um, um, it's definitely good. Um. I think, I think, um, my, I think that will, uh, solidify, solidify, solidify my favorite characters, um, in the show this season, um, this last season, um, my favorite characters, the three, my top three characters in the game, in the game, in the show, is uh, Arya. Arya has always been my favorite. Will always be my favorite. Um, and then uh, Davos Seaworth is my second favorite. And the last favorite is um, Jamie Lannister. I think he's had exceptional um, character development in the show. I think he is the one with the the best, maybe mm, mm, the most, maybe the most character development in the show. Um, I can't really think of any- Arya is another one. Um, so what do you want to do is... I don't- I think you wanna... Do I wanna, like... Quickly get- mm, Nope. <laughs> nope! Eh. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna try it again. I mean, I did it earlier. Successfully. Um, I think Arya and Jamie and... Who else would have had a great or a lot of character? Not not necessarily good, but um, the amount I'm thinking of uh, character development. And Jamie is definitely one of them. I think R is one of them. I think Sansa is definitely one of them. Um, I feel like Daenerys is probably. I mean, maybe not the le the one with the least amount of character de development, but she's. I think she has, at least for the last four seasons, she hasn't changed that much. She had the most character development in the last few fo uh, first few seasons. 
Um, the same goes with um, Tyrion, I think. Uh, in the last few, in the first few seasons. Anyway, we get some propeller kind of thing, and that'll open up uh, places for us. But we're not going to go to any of those places today, which is a chaos, town of chaos. That'd be the second, right? That'd be the second. No, no, the second, the third. That'd be the third chest in the a town of chaos, I think. Yeah. So where we want to go is the um, the new place we opened up, the uh, the east crater, wasn't it? So we're gonna go there. Um, this is actually the uh, one of the places uh, last places we go to in the game to get uh, trash to get treasure. Um, I just want to say that now. Uh, but before before I actually forget, I want to talk more about Game of Thrones. I think uh, and uh, the character development. Um, do I want to be in there? Might be right. Okay, that's fine. Um, I thought, dude, who else did have good character development? I know I'm saying Jamie and uh, and Arya, and that's one of my um. That's my opinion. I think they've had great character development. Um, along with Sansa. Um, obviously, uh, kids are gonna have character development. Bran as well has had... Uh, he's had character development, but I don't think it's been that good. Honestly, I think... Personally, I think... Um, I think we have to get this guy up there. Um, personally, I think he's a little dull now. I hope they developed him correctly in the last season. I hope that he becomes more than just that guy, that three-eyed raven. Um, Sombra Clegane is another one who's had um, um, character development, good character development also. Um, John as well, and John hasn't changed much. But what he has changed, um, I think he's changed for the better. Not for the better, but it's, it's good development, I think. Just to take him through the... Uh, I didn't even need to... I actually, I actually didn't need to do that. Um, just to take him through the um, all the hoops and whatnot. To make him a more grounded character. I, I don't know. But either way, that's going to be the uh, last uh, chest I get in this episode. And probably the last episode I record today. Because that's the power-up, ladies and gentlemen. Our last power-up. Um, this is our strongest gauntlet, or glove, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can pick up the, the most, the heaviest of enemies out there. And you can throw them around like they are a ragdoll. You can also throw them straight into a wall, like this, and destroy them. So that's going to be it. We can go to a few levels now. Town of Chaos, we can get all, both the chests there. I might go and get those next episode. Uh, Castle in Evolution, so I guess we'll do that next time. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time for more Warland 3. Bye-bye.